Hello, 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 guys. Uh, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment down below, and give us thumbs up if you love what we've done uh, here today. Uh, I have a guest for you today from uh, University of Johannesburg today. Uh, not first. <laughs> University of Johannesburg. Uh, can you introduce yourself, my guy, just brief? Uh, oh, all right. Um, Good day guys, uh, my name is uh, Brian Koza. I'm a second year student at University of Johannesburg, currently studying industrial engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Okay, I'm from Davidson. You know, I attended my high school at Bidit High School. It's not a big school, it's just a school outside yeah, it's, it's, Davidson. Yeah. You're doing industrial engineering. Industrial engineering guys, all right. So did you apply for industrial engineering only or is there any other courses that you applied for while you were in high school? Yeah, I applied for a few, you know. They say you, you have to, to put many, yeah, uh, yeah. catch many fishes as you can. Yeah. So what, I, what I've done, I've applied for actual science, it was my first uh, priority, at VETS. Uh, also applied for computer science at VETS. And then at UJ, I applied for industrial and mechanical engineering. And then at UCT, industrial and mechanical engineering. So at VETS, they took too long to respond. I think they responded when I was already like uh, registered yeah. at UJ. So I saw like, ah, it's the same. And yeah. already I'm in where yeah. I'm in. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so you are you applied for actuarial science, computer science. Yeah. So you, you, you took industrial engineering. Yeah, I took industrial engineering. It's because Why industrial engineering? Yeah, uh, it's it's because uh, you know, when I looked at uh, what we used to do, because I used to attend like workshops and events for actuarial science during Saturdays, I think it was for four weeks or so. So I used to attend there. Uh, I saw they briefed us on what they do, you know. So yeah, I saw that hey, the workload is too much for, for, for me, you know, like you, you can end up doing like a four year, it's a four year, a, a four year course, you can end up doing almost seven years. Hey, so for me, <laughs> it was too much, you know, because they say you cannot go without being scuffed, so which means you cannot go without feeling the unless really you are putting in actual science. In actual science. Oh, so you chose, yeah, yeah. I just, so yeah. why did you chose, or oh, you chose uh, uh, this? Industrial engineering instead of yeah, uh, this actual science because of <laughs> I said because was, of their primary, yeah, but yeah, yeah, it scared me off a bit. Yeah, yeah like, so I'm you were scared with actual science. Yeah, I'm okay. not prepared to, yeah. to fail. You know? So why did you choose? Uh, you chose why did you choose industrial engineering? Just brief. Yeah. Okay, I chose industrial uh, engineering for because of when uh, my upbringing. My upbringing. I'm from a business uh, side of the family, you know? yeah. and at the same time, you know, I, I know business, but I love engineering. As you saw, I applied for many engineering courses outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did not mention everywhere where I applied, but yeah. one of those top that I was willing to go to, you know. So I applied mostly engineering. So I saw um, one video, I think they were talking about different types of engineering. Yeah, you know? so. And then I also got interested in, okay, so what is this industrial engineering I've never heard of? You know, funny enough, also I have two people from my family who also did it, you know. One is at Debe and the other one is still with us this side. You know, he's, he, they are working as industrial engineers there. You know, so I got a brief. I got yeah. to sit down with them. They told me, well, the, in, the do's and don'ts yeah. in this uh, field. Yeah. So, so yeah. that's how I ended up choosing it. Yeah. 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 What is all about? Just a brief, a few seconds. What is all about? Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a, 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 a description of uh, where, where, where are you going? You to can go? work. Yeah. yeah. What is all about? Okay. Yes. Actually, what, what it is all about? It is about uh, optimization. Actually, primarily about optimization and making things simple as possible, efficiency. Mm. You know. So what you do there? It's actually you can reduce cost. You know. You can reduce waste. Waste can be time. Waste can be creating more products that uh, customers don't need, you know. So yeah, that's primarily like what you do most of the time. There's, it's a big, it's a big, big industry. You can work yeah. with big data also, you know, minimize yeah. ways to do things. So, yeah. how can I work as like if I have this degree? You okay? If you have this degree, you can become a system analyst, you know, with a bit of some computer science there and there. You can be a system analyst, you know, those are the benefits. 
can be a system analyst, you can be a quality a quality assurer, not a severe quality assurer, mm. and you can be a production manager, you can be a CEO, if you have an MBA, you know, you can make yourself to a CEO position, you know. There's a lot that you can do in this field. You, know. you can also be a, a, a logistic, um, what do they call it? Um, a chain, a supplies and chain yeah, yeah. manager, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can be in that logistics part. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, which modules gave you a problem in first year? How did you cope with them? Just briefly. briefly. Yeah. Okay. I, I had problems with uh, physics and a module called electrotechnology. Mm. There, I think number one, it was I was not giving it enough time. You know, that they did deserve because I was putting more time on math because that's what I mostly love. You know, and physics I thought it was easy because it was still easy when like, I did picking. You know. Yeah, so I was putting more time in meds and forgetting about the other modules. So that's how I end up uh, finding them difficult and uh, my way of solving them to, 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 so that I, I can accomplish them or get past them was to reduce time that I applied on meds, you know, the time that I placed in on meds and distributed uh, fairly on others. You know, on other, yeah, what I'm yeah, so you, you have to divide your time. Yeah, and yeah. Fail. you have to be fair yeah. there. Don't go uh, <laughs> with what you love. You know? I know yeah. you can get carried away with meds at times. Yeah. 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 So, what are the challenges that you came across there here at university uh, that you didn't like experience while they were still in high school? Yeah, there is a lot, you know, there's a lot I can go on and on. But the, the one that I, I found, you know, mostly challenging and you know hard to deal with was finances yeah. you know the, the the finance world you find yourself in high school you're earning i mean you're getting uh, from your parents 25 right now, you know, you're getting it it's very nice you might end up like on a monthly basis you're getting 500 for you for yourself only to use you know and you can also have peace jobs near and there on Saturdays, yeah. make more money, it's more. Yeah. But this side, you know, you only get that 1.5. It, it, it seems as if it's too much, yeah, you know. But, you know, but it's, it's, yeah, it doesn't, sustain, yeah, you it doesn't sustain you that long. Yeah. You end up with 200 only yeah. to spend to yourself, you know. Yeah. yeah. I, we, we, we can. Like just last word mm. uh, from someone who's watching, someone who's willing to do industrial engineering, mm. or someone who wants to do engineering. So what can you like uh, say? So that you can like uh, just our concluding words mm. okay the concluding words is that if you want to pursue engineering in general let's go in general now mm. if you want to pursue engineering in general you must be hard working you know and uh, be able to manage your time you know because yeah that's 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 what mostly uh, is occurring now you might find out that you have a lot of things to do a lot of submissions in one week you know and you find out that that's only now that you're studying for those submissions you know and it end up becoming a mess if, yeah. if you can ask many engineering students will tell you the time is uh, time time management is the key to, yeah. to passing uh, the courses that you are doing time management mm. thank you thank you so much brian for for your presence here today guys there are a lot of opportunities outside there, you see. So this show is helping. Please, guys, recommend this video to, video to other people there. When you know a, a student or a learner who's willing to do engineering, just recommend this video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Uh, share and comment down below. And like uh, if you uh, love with what we have done today. Thank you so much, Brian, for your time. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye, guys. Mm -hmm.